Was, it, was anybody here last time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that didn't go so good, did it, huh? <laughs> like, that was a bad situation, but I got so many tweets asking if it was me that climbed up there. <laughs> like, how bad did your set go, Tyler? You had to climb the, too far, too soon? I'm from Nazareth. I just, uh, I'm, I'm 30, just turned 32 years old. I don't know if anybody is. Is anybody else getting older every day of their lives? I'm learning. I don't know if this, I learned every lesson the hard way since I was a little boy. I just found out that if your bank account is in parentheses, um, that's negative. <laughs> you guys all knew that? Everybody always knows, except me. I didn't know. I knew it wasn't good, but, uh, I kept withdrawing money, the number kept growing. I'm like, I'm gonna, I found a glitch in the system here. I'm gonna ride this out. The bank called me, they're like, you've reached your overdraft protection limit. I'm like, you guys didn't mention that. When I started, that's your fault, Wells Fargo. My bad, that's not my bad. Like, you're being irresponsible with your money. I'm like, that's your money. I don't care about that money. I can't handle the parentheses, I can't handle it. Because in my brain, if I know if I have 50 regular dollars, I know I still have like 500 parentheses dollars. I'm a rich guy now, that's $550. Yeah, I will have another round of drinks. I'm a millionaire at this point. The worst part is I took a class my senior year of high school that taught that information. This is true, I took a class called Adult Living. <laughs> yeah, that's a real class, and it's as pathetic as whatever you're visualizing it is in your head. We learned the bare minimum of survival. We learned how to balance a checkbook with no money in it. They taught us what shit we can't drink underneath the kitchen sink. Those are the lessons. Like that's bleach, how you can't swallow. That's a Mr. Yuck, you know what Mr. Yuck is? Yeah, a couple. Did you go to high school? We had to take care of a fake baby for a week. Just walk the halls with an electric baby. Keep it alive for seven days. And then hand it back in decent condition and you get a great, this was preparing me for parenting. I think it prepared me for kidnapping for ransom. I think that's really, what I was prepared for. All the guys got partnered with a girl in the class and you would get assigned a baby and you would take the baby home on alternate nights. Basically preparing us for a joint custody <laughs> future. Like we know you know how to make a baby but you're not gonna stay with the person that you make it with. So on Wednesday is gonna be a mock custody trial and uh, if you win that you get bonus points. Most of the kids in my class are like, we just use our real babies, we already have real babies, that'd be cool. I don't know. I don't want to pay my Nana. <laughs> my birthday money. <laughs> Going to the babysitting. You guys are weird a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna get any cleaner than this. I'm from Nazareth, PA originally. Any Nazareth people? <laughs> Thanks for sitting up front. Is this my family up here? Just making sure, <laughs> every, every show they come, you should go back to college, Tyler. I think you should go back, finish that degree in uh, general studies, I think. You guys are from there, really? Bustling metropolis, huh? It's like time travel going to Nazareth, I think. It's like 30 years behind the rest of the world. There's still a profitable VCR repair shop on Main Street. <laughs> Somebody pays taxes with VCR repair money. And that's with PA. Yeah, he's nodding. He knows, he's like, I go. I go all the time. What the fuck? I'm trying to watch Airbud again. Kidding me? Liar, liar is my favorite movie, dude. Every, gay people are new in Nazareth. They just found out that gay people exist, which is crazy. You hear the most ignorant stuff. My mom said the most ignorant thing I've ever heard about gay people. I have a 21 year old brother, and he had like a sleepover with another guy. And they slept in the same bed, and there was other beds, and she saw it, she freaked out. She's like, Tyler, I think your brother turned gay. Like, over the weekend, Mom, what do you mean, turn gay? I didn't get to turn. When you start to go through puberty, they don't, like, send you a magazine full of naked girls and one full of naked guys, and you have to, like, mail back the one you don't use. That's not how it works. She's freaking out, you know, being ignorant. Gotta teach her a lesson, man. She's freaking out, how did this happen? I raised the same way, how did this happen? I was like, mom, you always told me that the reason I love spaghetti so much is because when you were pregnant with me, you ate a ton of spaghetti. <laughs> so, 
So, if I'm going to point a finger here in this scenario, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to ruin Thanksgiving for me, too, Mom. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. I told you it was going to get worse. I told you. <laughs> I knew I should have came out to Jumper by Third Eye Blind. I knew I should have done it. I knew it. That would have broke the room. You know why I couldn't though? It wasn't that. You know what? My girlfriend in college, I didn't go to college. She was in college and I went to visit her. <laughs> and Third Eye Blind was playing and she cheated on me with the lead singer of Third Eye Blind. Stephen Jenkins, yeah. It's a tough break. I don't know if they did it, but my brain said they did it, so it doesn't really matter if they did it or not. Your brain doesn't go with like, Innocent until proven guilty. It doesn't give a shit about that. Like, were they together? They did it, right? What is he doing with her in the backstage of a Atlantic City casino? They're cheating on me. That's what's happening, you know? Do you know how hard it is to go to college parties and have to hate Third Eye Blind? It's impossible. <laughs> they make college parties great, you know? Try listening to Jumper when the lead singer hooked up with your girlfriend. You think he's singing at you. That's what's happening. Take a step back from that ledge, my friend. It's like, first of all, Steven, we're not friends, okay? That's not how you treat friends, and you put me on this ledge, you know? That took a lot out of me to tell that story. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, we broke up anyway, so. Any, anybody in love here? Any married marriages? You got a bigger applause from Nazareth, that's weird. That's never happened before. Nobody's ever cheered more for uh, a shitty, heroin-infested town than love, ever. I say that with love, actually. I say that with all the love. Mary, who, you, you married? Who, who, who cheered? Was it the same people? How long has it been? H holy shit, what? <laughs> 22 years? Give them a, that's a round of applause. That's, that's what what, what's the key? What's the key to keeping it fresh after 22? Time's up. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get married, man. One day. It's sexist, though. Make a girl a princess for one day, and then she's gotta be m my wife for the rest of them. It's not so fair to her, right? And so it's all about the girl, right? It's all about you, you know? It's all set up. It's a party just for you. You know, we just wait for you at the altar. Like, yeah, whenever you're here, come up. Whenever, I'm, I'm just waiting up here, yeah. Bring your dad, fuck it. Bring him up, that's fine. <laughs> You get a dress made just for you, right? Nobody else can wear it. It's like a process. All your friends are on, sitting on white couches drinking champagne as you try it on. Like, oh my God, Susie, it looks perfect on you. And as a guy, we rent a tux. <laughs> you get married in some like family heirloom and we get married in some outfit some other dickhead just got married in like last week. That's not equal. That's not equal. Not. That's why if I get married, it's gonna, she can have her wedding, the next day it's gonna be my wedding, it's gonna go my way. She's gonna wait for me at the altar. And her dad's gonna walk me up there. That's how it's gonna go. I'll be like, do not come to the honeymoon suite later, sir. I know you paid for it, but you do not wanna hear what comes from that room. On your credit card. My friends are having kids now, like on purpose. And, uh, <laughs> That's, that's the age I'm at. I'm, they're having, like, in, in wedlock kids? Like, what? Are, are we still doing that? We're still making people on per People are making people now? Still? Haven't we learned? Do we need more? People taking pictures of their food and shit at restaurants? Blogging? Do we need that on purpose, people? No, we don't need... I'm a, I asked my mom, like, Mom, was I on purpose or was I an accident? She's like, you weren't an accident, Tyler. You were just a result of poor planning. I'm like, that's an accident. You just defined it. How could you? I'd rather be an accident than on purpose, though. Right? Because it's creepy enough to think of your parents having sex. But it's even creepier thinking of them having sex with you as their goal the whole time. That's weirder, right? Like, oh, his hope he's a quarterback. It's like, whoa, dad, Jesus. It's my mom, huh? Think about coming like an adult. I understand, like, Cubbage's family's probably here. I'm talking about this, and I regret it. I regret it. But I've had a couple hop devils, and I'm on muscle relaxers, so. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun night for me.